Hello, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. We are going to discuss about the major skeletal muscles. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this session. We are going to see about the skeletal muscles that are located in the head, the upper arm, the forearm, the wrist, hands and fingers. Followed by this we will be seeing the skeletal muscles that are located in respiratory system, abdominal portion, leg portion, ankle, foot and toes. So let us see the muscles that are located in the head. Sternocelloid mastoid is the muscle that is located over here. You can see the location of the muscle. It pulls the head from one side to the other and it pulls the head to the chest. So these are the functions of the muscle sternocelloid mastoid. Next we have the muscle frontalis. This muscle is responsible for rising the eyebrows and the facial expressions which are concerned with the eyebrows. Next we have Orbicularis oris. This muscle is located near the lips and it allows the lips to pucker. The next muscle is Splenus capitus. Splenus capitus is located over here as you can see near the neck to the thoracic region and it rotates the head and it allows it to bend to the side. So these are the muscles that are related with the head. Next we are going to see the major skeletal muscles which are located in the upper arm region. First we have the muscle pectoralis major. Your pectoralis major is located near the chest and it pulls the arm across the chest using the movement as you can see over here. It rotates and adducts the arm. Our next muscle is Latsimus dorsi. Your Latsimus dorsi is the muscle that is located in this region. It extends and adducts the arm and it rotates the arm inwardly. The few more muscles which are located in your upper arm region includes the deltoid muscle. It abducts and extends the arm at the shoulder. So this is your deltoid muscle and it is located on either side of a person's shoulder. Next we have the subscapularis. That muscle is located near the scapular bone and it rotates the arm medially that is towards the median of a person and it is located inside the scapulous bone whereas your infraspinatus muscle is located over the bone scapulae and it rotates the arm laterally. Next we are going to see some of the major skeletal muscles that are located in your forearm. 
In your forearm, we have the important muscle as biceps brachial. Your biceps brachial is used for flexing the arm at the elbow and it rotates the hand laterally. Next we have the muscle brachialis. It is used for flexing the arm at the elbow. Followed by this we have the muscle spunator. Spunator is located in the region near the elbow. You can see over here. And it rotates the forearm laterally. That is supination. Followed by this we have the muscle pronator teres. So pronator teres is the muscle that binds your radius and ulna. It rotates the forearm medially. So these are the few skeletal muscles that are located in your forearm. Our next important muscle in forearm is triceps brachial. Your triceps brachial as you can see is located over here and it extends the arm at the region of your elbow. The next muscle is brachioradialis. It flexes the forearm at the elbow. So that is your brachioradialis. Next we are going to see some of the major skeletal muscles which are located near the wrist, hand and finger regions of a human. The first muscle is flexia carpi radialis and flexia carpi ulnaris. You can see over here the flexia carpi radialis and flexia carpi ulnaris is located in the region of the hand that is near the wrist. It flexes and abducts the wrist. So you can close your arms I mean like your fingers and you can rotate your wrist with the help of these two muscles that is flexia carpi radialis and flexio carpi ulnaris. Followed by that you have the muscle palmaris longus. Palmaris longus is used for flexing the wrist. So these muscles in coordination can help you to move the wrist. Next we have the muscle Flexio digitorum profundus. That muscle is located over here, connecting the four fingers. And it flexes the distal joint of the fingers, but it does not join the thumb. You can clearly see over here, it doesn't have any joining with the thumb. Next we have the muscle extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis. You can find these muscles in the region over here. So these two muscles are located in your arm 
over here and it can be used for extending the wrist and abducting the hand. Our next muscle is extensor carpi ulnaris. Your extensor carpi ulnaris can be found over here. It is used for extending the wrist, that is relaxing your wrist. Next we have the muscle extensor digitorum. Your extensor digitorum extends the finger but it does not extend the thumb. You can see it over here that it does not have any sort of connection with the thumb. Next we are going to see the muscles that are related with the respiratory process of a human. The first muscle that is a very important muscle which plays a major role in respiration is the diaphragm. You can see over here the movement of a diaphragm. It separates your thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. It contracts and causes inspiration and expiration. So the respiration process can be controlled by the diaphragm muscle. Hence it is an important muscle of a human body. Next we have the external and internal intercostals. Your external and internal intercostals are located near the rib cage of a human body. The one that comes from the vertebra is your external intercostals and the one that's coming from your sternum. The muscle that is connected with the sternum is your internal intercostals. The movement of the rib cage, that is expansion and lowering of the rib cage during the breathing is controlled by these external and internal intercostals. Our next muscle is the location abdominal. In abdomen you can find the muscles as these external and internal obliques External and internal obliques has a major function to compress the abdominal wall and they will be covering the abdominal portion. Next we have the transverse abdominis that is located over here and it also compresses the abdominal wall. The next muscle is rectus abdominis. It flexes your vertebral column and it also compresses the abdominal wall. So these are the major muscles which controls the region of the abdomen. Next we are going to see some of the skeletal muscles which are located in the leg. Our first muscle is Posoas major and Iliacus. You can find the muscles over here. And they are located in the pelvic bone region. The main function of Posoas minor and major and iliacus is that they help in flexing the thigh. Our next muscle is gluteus maximus. And it has the location over here. The major function of gluteus maximus is that 
It can extend the time. Our next muscle that is located in the leg is gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. You can find these muscles over here. This is a lateral view of the hip bone. And these muscles are used in abducting the thighs and they rotate them medially. The next muscles that you can find in your legs are Adductor longus and magnus Your adductor longus and magnus have the major function to adduct the thighs and they rotate them laterally muscle is biceps femoris semimembranous cells the next muscle is semitendinous these three muscles together are found in the thigh region of the leg and they are known as hamstring group. They flex the leg near the knee region and they extend the leg at the thigh region. So that is the major purpose of your biceps femoris semimembranous and semitendinous the next muscle that you can find in your leg is rectus femoris vastus lateralis vastus medialis and vastus intermedius so these muscles are located at the knee region of a human leg and they extend the leg at your knee region So your rectus femoris, vastus intermedius and vastus lateralis and vastus medialis are the muscles that form the thigh region and they extend the leg. Next we have the muscle sartorius. The sartorius muscle is located at this region. And it flexes the leg at the knee and thigh. It updates the thigh, rotating the thigh laterally, but rotating the lower leg medially. So this is how the rotation is done by your sartorius muscle. Next we are going to see some of the major skeletal muscles which are located in the ankle, foot and toes. The first muscle that we are going to see over here is gastrocnemius. You can find these muscles over here. So this muscle is your gastrocnemius. It flexes the foot and it flexes the leg near the knee region. 
The next muscle is soleus muscle and its main function is to flex the foot. The next muscle that is located in your foot is flexia digitorum longus. It is used in flexing the foot and your toes. A next muscle that you can find in your ankle and foot and toes is tibialis anterior. Tibialis anterior, you can clearly see it over here, inverts the foot and points the foot up and down, that is dorsiflexion. Whereas your extensor digitorium longus will extend the toes and point the foot up. So, this muscle is responsible for extending the foot up and this muscle is responsible for extending your foot as dorsiflexion. And you can see the other parts and the other muscles that are located in the foot. Thank you so much for joining JTEC. Hope you would have got a very good idea about the skeletal muscles.